Hello, I'm Lizzie Harper and this is a video of me doing pen and ink and stipple work of trees for a book called The Living Wisdom of Trees, published by Watkins. Um, it accompanies a blog which you'll find on my website www.lizzieharper.co.uk um, and an apology, a lot of the film was done in portrait format so it looks a bit weird. I'll try and remember to hold the camera the other way around next time I do a film. So today what I'm doing is working on another illustration for a book it's all about trees and there are loads of these illustrations um, this is a hawthorn tree uh, and what I'm doing now is it's in pen and ink and I'm using lots of little pen and ink marks to build up texture and also tone um, it takes a long time but the end results look quite good so this is a hawthorn so I'll post a picture of the hawthorn when I'm done oh probably in about an hour's time <laughs> So here's the finished hawthorn. It's always slightly disappointing when you um, do the rubbing out because all the depth of texture that you've been working so hard towards kind of gets compromised a little bit. Um, but the main thing about the hawthorn is it's kind of raggedy, raggedy shape with lots of sort of emergent um, branches, which we've kind of got. Yeah, it just takes a long time um, to build up the tonality. Um, but yeah, and the next thing we're going to do is the details of the hawthorn. So that's... Um, these are berries in the leaf and I've already um, gone over my pencil rough just with a solid um, line drawing and I've st line pencil line and I've started here doing some stippling anyway I'll do a bit more of this with you guys in a minute or two okay so what I've done here is I've plotted in all our um, the darkest darks on the hawthorn berries and I've done this really quite roughly with an 0.5 pen and uh, now I'm using a 0 0.05 nib to stipple my way around the edges to make the areas of shine far less stark and to make things look a bit more realistic. Um, and we can double check back in when I'm done, see whether or not it's worked. Um, yeah, but I quite like doing these details, I enjoy it. But it'd be very handy if I actually had a hawthorn berry here, never mind. Okay, so I've done the stippling on the berries to knock back the um, areas of shine. And now, well, if you can see from a distance, there we go. They look okay from a distance. Um, and now it's time to do all the stippling on these leaves. I've done the branches. So the hawthorn details are finished. Um, next up is a hazel tree and some hazelnuts. Um, but I'll just paste those a little bit later. Um, don't think I mentioned it. The pens I'm using, they're just permanent ink. These ones happen to be uni pin. And I've got a whole range. That's a 0 0.05. I've got a 0 0.5 for those big thick bits, 0 0.2, 0 0.1, and a nice soft rubber that doesn't smear. So that one. Okay, I'll, um, I'll post when I finish the hazel tree. Come on, let's get going. Okay, so the hazel shrub is finished. I'm trying to get the kind of thicket effect here and all these parallel stems. And the hazel catkin and nuts are done. The catkin was a bit of a challenge, but I think it worked out eventually. Um, Holly next. <laughs> um, yeah, quite a constructive day, really. Uh, so this is the holly tree, and what I'm trying to do to make it look more like a holly tree, unless like just any old tree, is actually <clears throat> add some actual um, holly leaf shapes. Obviously, I'm not going to draw in every leaf, but I'm just trying to get the texture right. Um, yeah, it's, take, it's um, yeah, I like hollies. They're beautiful plants. So I finished the holly tree. I'm actually quite disappointed in it because even though there's quite lots kind of holly-like leaves, it just looks scruffy. Um, I do slightly struggle with these trees. I enjoy the details far more. Uh, just a little technique that if you have a straight line and you want to sort of mellow it out, just make it into lots of tiny dots at the tip and then it just really softens the, the end of it and makes it look much more natural rather than a stark um, contrast between the white page and a solid black incline. The holly leaf itself, I think that's worked all right. Pleased enough with that. There's an awful lot of stippling going on. There you can see. Same technique as I used on the hawthorn berries. But yeah. An awful lot of tiny dots. Some 
doing stipple work is actually it really hurts so at the end of the day depends which part like your thumb becomes all very painful from pressing down on the pen your fingers end up hurting and it ends up hurting all up the wrist as well still though that's the price of art <laughs> it's fine it wears off pretty soon and the effect you know the effect is good if you want to check out some really good stipple work go and have a look at alice rosen's account she's done some brilliant ones of like cells and stuff recently well worth a look Okay, so what I'm doing now is I've done it all back to front this time, just to add a little variety. I've done all my stippling ahead of time, so I've done all my little spots. And now I'm doing the lines. And it's quite nice because it's like all the hard work, all the stuff that takes ages, which is the stippling. That's done. And now you're just going over with the lines. There's no real reason for this. The only reason I want to do it is to add a bit of variety. I've got 116 of these illustrations to do. So I'm keeping myself um, keeping myself engaged. Um, yeah, but I'll show you when I'm finished with the whole lot. When I said I'll show you when I'm done, I didn't mean when I'm done with all the illustrations. I meant when I'm done with the horn beam. So this one's done now. Um, so the technique of stippling and then doing the line works quite well. It works particularly well for the leaves. I'm, I'm quite pleased with those. Um, they work out quite well. Look, there's a bit I missed there. Oh. Um, and I've drawn up the horse chestnut conquer, which is my next one. But I'm not going to bore you with that. I think you've seen more than enough of my day's work today. <laughs> um, So basically, when you're doing stippling, what you're doing is taking the sharp edge off a solid black ink line, which is what I'm doing here with this sweet chestnut tree. Sweet chestnut trees, they've got spiral bark, which is really cool. Um, plenty, plenty to go, but I do like this tree. It's a beautiful shape. So with every tree I've done, you hit a moment of despair. <laughs> it's not that it goes wrong. It's just you look at it and you think, my goodness, this is taking so long. And you think, oh, I'm going really well. And then you look at all the bits that you haven't got to. So, yeah, I'm in my moment of despair right now. It'll come good, though. It always does. <laughs> OK, so this is another moment of truth, is rubbing out the pencil line. Because right now what happens, I quite like the way it looks. But as soon as you rub out the pencil, it starts looking totally different. And all the whites become a lot whiter. And the contrast rather changes. So... This is another moment of horror and truth. And in fact, holding the phone and rubbing out at the same time is proving impossible. OK, so can you see now I've rubbed it out. There's different tonalities going on here. So then you have to get your trusty pen and go back in and work onto it a little bit more. But um, it's not too far off. But you can see the difference between that one and the um, and the one when, when it still had the pencil shading on. OK, so I've evened up the um, tonality a little bit now. So that's more or less done. There we go, and you can tell, as I said, sweet chestnut because of the spirally bark, which is beautiful. Um, yeah, I've only got a few more of these to do. There's, there, each of them is a lot of work, but, um, but yeah, they're quite nice. I do, I do like a well-formed treat. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching that film about me stippling trees and talking about pen and ink techniques. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Please feel free to leave comments. If you'd like to see some more examples of my work, go to www.lizzieharper.co.uk. Um, and also, I look forward to the book being published. I think the publication date is February the 11th, 2020. Um, and it was a challenging job. I'm not going to pretend it wasn't. But ultimately, I found it really re rewarding. Um, so, yeah, uh, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. And I'll speak to you again soon. Bye bye.